On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to episode number 3 of the On Drop Rate series and in this one we're going to dial it back a bit from the last episode when we actually hunted the Dragon Warhammer from Lizard Men Shamans. In this one we're actually going to do a grind with a drop rate of an item 1 in 1000 which is the Undead Druids, that is why I'm in Seiya as well, and we're going to be hunting for the Mask of Ranul. The Mask of Ranul is on the collection log for the miscellaneous tab, just like the Dragon Warhammer, and the drop table for the Undead Druids is very, very big, and most of it is seeds, herbs and some herb lore supplies in general, pretty good for Iron Man. But there's also of course the red drop table with the rune spear, shield left half, dragon spear, but those are all one in like half a million to achieve, so I'm not expecting to get any of those. Also you can get grubby keys, one in 75, which is not that rare, so I'm expecting to get around 13, 14 out of those. And also you never know, I might get lucky and get the 1 in 5000 zombie champions scroll drop, which would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, can't expect any of that. Now as I did say in the intro, I did change the rules up for this series, which is going to mean I'm going to give away half of the loot that I get from these undead druids if I do not manage to get the Mask of Renault in 1000 kills. I'm just going to take half of the money worth of the loot and give it away. And if I do get the Mask of Renault before 1000 kills, Kills, I am going to go on to another activity and do two in this video. When it comes to gearing, this is my setup. I'm going to be using full crystal with the salve amulet because it works towards undead monsters. With the blowpipe and ring of the gods, I could be using, you know, full damage and just stand at the altar that is right there at the undead druids. But I just kind of want to AFK more and having more prayer bonus is pretty nice. So I'm going to be using this setup instead. Now before we get into actually killing them, I want to say one last thing. These can drop hard clue scrolls 1 in 100, so if I do not get the Mask of Renault, I will do roughly 10 hard clue scrolls during this video, and I'm going to be counting in that as loot from the monsters. So if I do not get the Mask, I'm going to take all the loot that I got from the hard clue scrolls as well, take half of that and give that away as well. So imagine if I get like a third age, that could be millions I have to give away. Now because I'm not using the altar, another benefit to actually not doing that is you can use this mini room right here, which they are a bit more cramped up in, and I will get more kills an hour, which is pretty nice and very AFK as you can see. Unfortunately, I do not have a herb sack, so I will actually have to leave some of the herbs on the ground, but as always, I do have the rune light tracker, which is not going to bug out like the Lesser Man Shamans this time, so I should have very accurate sums of money anyways. Another thing worth mentioning is that you actually get these pages from killing them and they can be stacked up. You can get these from all of the monsters inside of this dungeon. And there is a quest I actually have not done. It's a mini quest in search of knowledge. If you get four of the pages, I think there's three pages, you actually complete that quest and you get a 10,000 experience lamp. So I might as well do that meanwhile I'm here anyways. Honestly, it's kind of funny. This is probably one of the most valuable drops I can get from the Undead Druids. Yeah, they're not the best money in the game, but uh, some videos is going to be like this. I just want to go through a bunch of the uniques, you know, in the game. And some of the videos will be more money-making, some will be a bit less. Actually, very early in, only 38 kills in, I guess 39 with that one. And we get the first hard clue scroll, so let's go and do it. I'm going to be opening them right away. Let's see what we get. Alright, let's see what we get for the first hard clue scroll of this video. Remember, all of this is going to be included in the actual value of the Undead Druid grind. So let's see what is the first clue scroll of the grind going to be. And it is worth 75k. Yeah, pretty mediocre hard clue scroll, at least a collection log item. And there we go, that's the first grubby key. They're actually worth 45k, just on the normal GE price. But I will be opening them for all the loot at the end of this grind and see what we get from that. But uh, for now, they're going to be just stacking up. 
two beams at the same time and I'm at 98 kills only so very lucky to have two hard clue scrolls so far I'm not going to be showing any of the future drops of the hard clue scrolls I'm just going to be showing you guys when I open the caskets second hard clue scroll let's see what we get and we get some multiples again is it better than the last one though no it's not I'm still being very lucky with hard clue scrolls I'm at 203 kills and I got a third one let's see what we get from this one and we get some more Alkyballs, a page, and some teleports. How much is this worth? 69k, so nothing too great. Just have a look at this. 231 kills, and I've got 4 hard clue scrolls and 7 grubby keys. I feel like I'm getting very lucky here, but no Mask of Renewal yet. But let's see what the 4th clue scroll is going to give us. Some pretty uh, normal Alkyballs. 88k. So we are now almost 500 kills in. I will put the loot on the screen right now. And we have another hard clue, and this one is... Like the other ones, but actually the worst one, I think. 33k. Yo! Mask of Renewal, there it is! Man, I can't stop winning, man. I've won every single challenge in this series so far. Whoops. Uh, there we go. 537 kills for the Mask of Renewal. And uh, it was only worth 2 million, all the loot, but let's pick that up. And that means we're going to do another challenge in this video, which is very exciting. But uh, let's have a look at how this actually looks on me. Man, that is so cool. Uh, always nice to get collection log items, but look at that. Okay, that's a bit creepy. Uh, probably not going to use that for much, but uh, yeah, very nice for the collection log. And we did win the challenge. I get to keep all the 2 million. Now, as I said, if I do manage to get the item, I am hunting before I get it, and it is a fairly short grind. I am going to do another activity as well, and you might already know by looking at my gear and inventory what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing Dagonoth Kings, and the specific item I'm going to be hunting for is the Berserker Ring. I'm going to be killing all of the three different Dagonoth Kings, and if I get any other ring, it does not count, but it is going to count towards the money I would give away if I do not manage to get the Berserker Ring, so we're going to be killing 128 of each of the kings. So there's going to be overall roughly around 380 kills. So there should be some chances of getting some nice money here. The Berserker Ring drop is from the Dagonoth Rex, so let's see what the first one is. I have to really turn off the beams, I guess, for the Dagonoth Bones. Let's do that real quick, but uh, yeah, first kill is going to start on 430 kill counts, and of course, I will have rune light trackers for everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Warrior ring, you always have to get one of them before you get any good ones. That is the first ring drop, 61k, not too great. <laughs> Okay, so the first trip now is done, and it was kind of messy. I didn't bring enough restores, I think, but uh, I haven't done this in a while, so of course I will have to adjust a couple of things, but uh, I did 12 kills on each Dagonoth King this trip. I guess this is going to be number 13 on Rex, which is not that bad, but I think I can do up to 20 kills in the future if I optimize my inventory a bit more. Seer call 27k. I think that's as rare as a ring. I could be wrong on that, but I do know it's pretty rare. But yeah, I guess pretty cool 27k. <laughs> I am actually going to be spending some of the money from the double dragon warhammers that I got in my last video. If you did not see it, it was a really nice video of 5,000 Descendment Shamans. But I'm going to be buying the imbued heart and bring that for a magic boost. And I'm also going to change some of the items I'm going to be bringing as well. To be able to bring as many of the restores as possible, I'm going to be bringing uh, the Crystal Armor for melee and also Blood Fury to get some healings. I don't really need any food, and I think this is going to be a pretty decent setup. Oh, look at that! 4.14 million archers ring. That of course does not count for winning the challenge, so I need the Berserker ring, but that is 4 million Oh, another unique mod battle staff 26k. Yo, another archer's ring. 4 million more to either give away or keep. That is really nice. But uh, I'm more than halfway done, so I'm getting a bit scared. So after this Rex, I've killed 76 of all the kings, and I have, of course, not got the Berserker ring, as you guys have seen. But we have got two archer's rings, which is really ridiculously good. And uh, I think this gear setup that I'm using right now is really working well. It's very few switches and I can kill all the kings in time with my stats. So there is no problem there. 
So overall, I think this is going to be the setup I'm going to be using for all the 50 remaining kills. You always need a dragon axe on the trips, of course. Back in the days, this was uh, worth quite a lot. But now it's worth only 50k, so... Times have changed. Oh my god. All the rings except the Berserker ring. That is unfortunate. Sears ring, 327k. We have the Warrior's ring very early and two Archer's rings. Not very far to go. Probably like 15 kills left to go. Oh, another Dragon Axe. That is the second one for the video. I feel like I've got a decent amount of drops in general in this video. Just no Berserker ring. After this Supreme, I have only three more rounds of kills to go. So it is not looking great for getting the Berserker ring. But uh, you never know, there is still a small chance. After this Rex, only two more to go. Rex is the one dropping the Berserker ring. Fremenic helmet. Uh, only two more chances to go. One more after this one. It is going to be very lucky if I get it here. But uh, it is not looking like it's going to happen. Which means I am most likely going to give away some money in this video. And here we go, this is the last Dagonoth Rex. You can see all of the ones is currently at 127 KC. So after this kill, if I do not get the Berserker Ring, or regardless of what happens, I'm going to kill the other ones one more time. But unless I get something very interesting, I'm not going to show anything of it. But that is the last one, and that is a Mithril Warhammer. So I did lose this challenge, and we're going to have a look at, in a bit, how much money I'm going to be giving to you guys. During this grind, I also got four hard clue scrolls that I all completed, and I'm going to give away half the loot that I got from the Dagon of Kings, as I said earlier in the video. But from the hard clue scrolls, it's not going to be a lot, so I'm just going to add all of the money that I get from these hard clue scrolls to you guys as well. So hopefully it's going to be good rewards. So I added all the loot together from the Dagon of Kings in a calculator and divided it by two, and the amount of money I'm going to be giving away is 7.1 million. And of course, on top of that, we're doing these hard clue scrolls, so 7.1 million plus whatever I get from these hard clue scrolls is how much I'm going to be giving away. And I will explain in a bit how you can join in on this giveaway. But first, let's open these hard clue scrolls. So the first one is going to be a master clue scroll, 119k. Second one is 95k. Third one, 166k and unique as well and 82k for the last one. I'm going to try to do the master clue scroll actually, but if I cannot complete it, it is what it is. But if I can complete it, I can add that to the loot as well, I don't mind. Well, that did not take long. I do not have a fighter torso, and I am not feeling like paying millions for the BA services to do that, or do it myself. So, unfortunately, that is going to the ground. So at the end of all of this, I'm going to be giving away 7.5 million roughly, and how you win this is by leaving a comment in the comment section below saying two things. The first thing, what activity you would like to see in a future video. So for example, Venanaris, and then under that, you would type your RuneScape name. And that is pretty much it. Also, you can join the Discord if you want to make my contacting you a bit easier. So if you do manage to win, I can actually just see if you're in the Discord, contact you that way and give you the money. But if you do not want to do that, I can just uh, contact you in game. Make sure you have your private on on. Because if you have it on friends and you do not have me added, I cannot contact you. Also, if you want to keep it on friends, my in-game name is Alonesome, so you can just add me beforehand, so I will actually not get blocked by it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe, leave that comment if you want to win the money. And uh, until next time, guys, take care.